Hi y'all, my name is Melanie. I am the new executive director of Pro-Life San Francisco. I wanted to share a little bit about myself and my pro-life journey so that you can get to know me a little better. I am a proud Chicana from San Antonio, Texas. I'm a new wife. I have a dog. I love to roller skate when I get the chance. And I'm also really passionate about fertility awareness methods. I first learned about abortion in the third grade, but my pro-life journey really began once I was in university. I was personally pro-life for a short time, and when I learned about what abortion procedures looked like, what preborn humans actually looked like in the womb and how abortion kills that child, I decided that I was 100% always pro-life. I discovered a pro-life group at my campus and quickly joined, so enthusiastic, and it wasn't too long after that I was abandoned to lead and basically restart this group by myself. It was really hard and it was really lonely, but I gave it my all. To this day, that group is now a thriving pro-life group. I'm so proud of planting the seed that has sustained to create a culture of life at my alma mater. Also while in college, I got involved politically to encourage people to vote pro-life first by door knocking, lobbying, testifying for pro-life legislation. I even got to advocate for the confirmation of Justice Barrett. Also while in college, I was on the sidewalk outside of Planned Parenthood South Texas at least once a week, if not more, referring clients away from Planned Parenthood. Towards the end of college, I started working for the movement by training students throughout Texas to be leaders on their campuses. After that time, I co-founded the first international pro-life youth organization to train young people and leaders in the developing world to be lifesavers and to rescue the 73 million children that are killed every year around the world through abortion. Fast forward to June 2022. I was wanting to continue doing activism for the babies post-college and I started learning about this purposefully hidden and forgotten history within our pro-life movement of non-violent direct action through something called rescue. The idea is that we, believing that the preborn are children and that abortion is murder, put our bodies in between the oppressor and the oppressed, the privileged and the forgotten, the underprivileged, the butcher and the baby. And I was convinced our movement had the largest amount of arrests for nonviolent direct action than any other human rights movement in US history. If I truly believe abortion is murder, then rescuing children is the most fulfilling act of living aligned with that value. I wanted to do more for the babies. And then Dobbs versus Jackson happened, Roe v. Wade fell, and abortion was made illegal in my home state of Texas. I was left with the question of what do I do with this newfound knowledge, energy, yearning, longing to save children? What can I do? Then it was a question of, not what do I do, but where do I go? I wanted to be where the killing is still legally happening. And I contemplated, do I go to New Mexico? Do I go to DC? Do I go to New York? And then a friend said to me that activists are desperately needed in California. That culture starts on the West Coast and moves its way East. And specifically in San Francisco is where late term abortionists go to get trained 
at the University of California, San Francisco, UCSF, we know for certain that they are killing viable children in the womb and using their body parts for medical experimentation. They are essentially harvesting baby organs. And this is happening every day. Also in San Francisco, there will be an upcoming trial about the journalist, David Delayden, who exposed that indeed, Planned Parenthood sells baby parts. And there are more trials to come, but I share this so that you know, there is a need for pro-life visibility and support in San Francisco. We're coming up on one year since Proposition 1 took effect in California, making abortion legal all nine months of pregnancy. Truly, there is a need to save children and to help families. If you would like to join me, I'm partner with the work that I'm doing to go where the killing is happening and support the work of Pro-Life San Francisco, please go to prolifesf.com slash donate.